Hey guys, you're looking for good horror novels. Here we go, a good collection of horror authors, contemporary ones, that you're gonna enjoy. So guys, I just reached into my bookshelf, pulled out 10 common authors that I have at least two to three novels of, line them up back here, and give you a bit of review. Oh, check it out, Brian King, yeah. I've read a few of his books. Mm, the Rising, good one to start with. And it's done in a trilogy. The Rising, City of the Dead, and Dead Sea. And the good thing about Brian Keene, you guys, he's going to give you the gore. He's going to give you a good story with strong characters and a nice fast pace to it, right? It's what you need. It's what you want sometimes. Oh, sure. Sure. Day by day, Armageddon, written like it's a journal. I know, isn't that a great idea? One man's survival against an apocalypse of zombies. I opened the back door of the vehicle. There it was, a shell of a human infant, writhing in the seat, reaching for me. Black circles round its eyes looked like orbs. I wanted to cry as I unfastened the seatbelt and set it on the ground a safe distance away. Oh, and, yes, Beyond Exile, second part, and uh, definitely there's going to be a third part. All right, guys, here's a author you're going to like. Little more subtle on the horror. There's a theme of a surreal world existing within the real world of these characters. Bentley Little, The Resort, another good one. Bentley Little, The Mailman. Yeah, Bentley Little, The Academy. Yes. The Cellar. First edition, hello. Got it at a thrift shop. Cool, a couple bucks, that's it, can't believe it. People out there just don't know good horror, you know what I'm saying? This book's a classic, it's really stirred, ooh, stirred a bit of controversy, I would say when it first came out in 80, 1980, 1980, yep. Good fast paced stories in Richard Lehman novels. And uh, he's definitely gonna shock you with a bit of nasty horror every time in these books. Rick Atal, if I wanna be in a mood for mood enhancing, mood setting novels, sure, Rick Atal is quite good at that. This one's called The Mountain King. Very good man against beast novel. Uh, really written in counterpart with little brothers. Little dirty buggers that will come out of the ground for you. Rick Atala also putting out some pretty damn good ghost stories, Winter Wake being one of them. Although there's no ghoul in this novel, as depicted here, the ghoul really is the nasty main character and what he does in the woods around this bog, quite good. No, nope, there's no kid that uh, you see half drowning like that. Fuck was I? Uh, Simon Clark, author of The Tower, Ghost Monster, The Fall, number of other books too. Vampiric, very good vampire novel. Ow, chomping on a baby. That's what happens in that novel. Vampiric. You're going to want to pick up some James Herbert as well. The Lair, Moon, and one of my favorites right here, The Dark. Very creepy novel. It survives to spawn insane destruction, murder and rape, riot and terror. A force of evil so powerful cannot be destroyed is about to engulf the entire city. Here's a writer that I really been getting into lately, I would say, Robert R. McCammon. Swan Song. Very good apocalyptic novel, you know? Huge though, check it out. 940 some odd pages, I believe. And what I like, a lot of pages means a lot of good character development, a storyline that really goes far. Now we're getting into a bit more of the vicious horror, nasty stuff. You're gonna like Edward Lee. 
This guy knows how to push buttons and push the limits on horror. Jack Ketchum. Oh, and I heard The Girl Next Door. Haven't been able to get my hands on that book, though, but I heard that is hard to get through. Just remember, some things you stick in your brain, you can't get back out again. Wrath mm. James White, The Resurrectionist. This is a pinnacle of horror novel for me. The one that really dug deep in my skin and disturbed me. Freaky stuff. It's got everything you ever wanted in brutal horror. It's all in here. Great ending, by the way. Wrath doesn't let you down. Oh, lastly, hey, yeah. Yeah, check this out. Don't you love the title? The Doll Who Ate His Mother by Ramsey Campbell. I just wanted to share that one with you. I hope you like my horror author review. Check out a book from any one of these guys. And you'll thank me later. See ya.